Okay, if you like Lululemon shorts or just uh, athletic shorts, at least they're shorts, these might be the most underrated that you can get. So everyone goes with the pace breakers uh, and, you know, just kind of their surge, but this is probably their best one. This is the balancer short. And the reason it's not as popular is probably because um, it's made for, or they claim that it's made for uh, yoga, but it's actually their fastest drying fabric. It is sweat wick wicking. There's a four way stretch and it feels cool and sleek on the inside. So it's soft and brushed. Uh, so if you look at this material, it looks really nice and it's almost um, not as like athletic as you would think. So there's some added lycra for some stretch and shape retention. It is a slim cut and the length is actually perfect because this is a six inch length. So even the band itself is just super comfortable. You have zip pockets which actually hide. So they're almost like these hidden pockets. And then on the inside, there's a little pouch as well for your keys. I like that uh, there's actually not a back pocket. And then you also have this ventilated paneling right here, which also cools things. On the back, you have uh, the logo right there. It's nondescript. But again, you can see just right there um, kind of the, the shape of the fabric and the way it's holding its design. It's nice and sleek. It doesn't look super shiny the way a lot of uh, athletic wear does. So this is the uh, balancer short, but let's actually compare this to two other shorts. So if you need something maybe a little bit more uh, durable or I don't want to say technical, but just a little bit different. These are the 10,000 shorts. I got these with the lining. The lining is, a, it's rather a thick lining. So compression wise, it holds really well. There's uh, anti odor treatment on it. So if you look at the material of this, the shell is polyester and elastane, and the liner is nylon and elastane. Band, super comfortable. This band is pretty, or reminds me a little bit of the uh, Lululemon band, but you can tell it looks a little bit um, almost like glossier. But then when you look at the fabric of the shorts, that's where you can tell the difference. So this one looks a little bit more uh, casual in a sense, almost like sweats. And this, you can tell, is very like a technical um, athletic wear. I do like the pockets right here. You have a little zip pocket, but then you have bigger pockets for uh, like your phone, but you have the smaller pocket that you can put your keys in. On the side, you have laser cut vents to vent out heat. And the logo is also nice in that it's just this little X on the back, nothing too flashy. But you might be thinking also, I don't want to spend $90 or $68 on shorts, which are the Lulu and the 10,000, and you'd rather just spend 25. And if you do that, highly recommend these Target shorts. So these are the all in motion Target shorts, uh, have zip pockets. These are much thinner and lighter than both of those other shorts. And that's uh, like a good thing and a bad thing. Um, I like this one because just the way that the fabric looks again, it's not too like uh, athletic looking. You can actually just kind of wear it casually as well. Materials, this is 86% nylon and 4%, 14% uh, spandex. Um, waistbands are completely different. That's kind of how you can tell, you know, just the, maybe like the quality or just the way that it's a little bit more refined in that the Lululemon lining or waistband, the 10,000 and the, the Target. So this one's a little bit more traditional uh, in that way, but for 25 bucks, it's not bad. And then again, the logo is not bad. It's just this little logo on the bottom. So three different shorts, three different price points, uh, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, would highly recommend any one of them, depending on just uh, your budget and how you plan to use them, but all of them work great for just working out in casual wear.